Celerity is uh, really fundamentally changing the way drugs are created by harnessing the, the power of AI and multi-omics data. We really became a drug development company mm. in 2023. We advanced nine targets that are really important that underlie um, a large number of chronic diseases. We're developing a platform for a series of tests. We call it across the cancer continuum. So certainly screening for cancers to find cancers, but also how do we monitor and how do we look for recurrence of disease. So at Metaphor, we started off with a what if question as to what if we could mimic any target ligand interaction in the body? Because if we could do so, then we could use those mimics and optimize towards the optimal medicines. It turns out that in the context of disease, certain cells evolve the ability to resist disease mm -hmm. due to their somatic mutations. Mm -hmm. And other cells actually may have mutations that drive disease. And we decided to build a platform that would enable us to interrogate this biology. Mm -hmm. We call it somatic genomics. We've been able to develop a very robust pipeline uh, with a lot of interesting uh, new targets that folks have really wrestled with in the industry. Traditionally, as you know, we often start with a target or a phenotype that we actually try to change or create. We do the opposite, uh, almost the exact opposite way around. Now in chronic conditions, we have epigenomic controllers that we've already demonstrated with a single application working for six, seven, eight months. So that's really the powerful technology that we have and we can develop these very, very rapidly. Our lead compound is tamiberitine. Mm -hmm. And tamiberitine is used in uh, AML and MDS, of which we both have trials for. Uh, and it's focused on patients with rah overexpression. In about a 12-month period of time, we went from clinical data to various compounds, multiple compounds, against multiple targets mm -hmm. that look like any standard small molecule therapeutic program. The compounds look and act like drugs. Wow. And they're well on their way to becoming uh, uh, potential clinical candidates. Today we sit here with four different programs in human testing wow. across seven different indications. Uh, we have an opportunity to treat somewhere around 40 to 60 patients as we move forward through 2024. We now have targets in every single tissue in the body, cell surface and soluble targets, where we can now use those to make binding antibodies and send active drugs to those places in the body. That was not possible before the ampersand platform. 